the IBF have said that Anthony Joshua and Kubrat Pulev have until the 31st of January to reach a deal. So only a couple of weeks now for them to get this done. And Eddie Hearn, of course, is still trying to establish whether AJ can keep both the IBF and WBO belts in this scenario or whether he's going to be stripped of one or have to vacate one because he's trying to get the two sanctioning bodies, the IBF and WBO, to work together and agree that AJ can defend one of the belts first and then the other one will wait and will defend against him at a later date in the very next fight, I'm sure. So we'll see what happens there. But as I've said previously, if AJ has to give up one belt, I strongly suspect it will be the WBO because of the fact that that belt will probably stay in-house. Alexander Usyk is mandatory for the WBO. And, you know, unless Usyk fights somebody who is outside of Matchroom stable for that vacant belt, then it's probably going to stay in Matchroom, isn't it? Which makes it easier for AJ to get it back if that's what he wants to do. And he's, he's talked about that, potentially. So if he defends against Pulev and is successful, he can then start pursuing a unification, which would be, what, the third unification he's taken part in. So that's what I suspect will happen if he gets stripped. He'll probably try and keep hold of both belts, but if not, you know, that's what I'm expecting. So just a short one on this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And are any of you looking at Kubrat Pulev as maybe a bit of a dark horse and somebody who people are underestimating? Do you give him a better chance against AJ than a lot of people do? Let me know what you feel in the comment section below, people. It's Hatman, I'm out. Hatman merch is now available. We got t-shirts, vests, hoodies, and more. Just click the link below.